All right, let's start the program today by talking about two words, two letters that have really dominated our lives these days. It's AI. AI, is it a boon? Is it a bane? Should we adopt it? Should we love it? Should we hate it? It's a constant conversation around us, right? But today on the program, we bring you two perspectives on AI. One, how AI is actually being used as a social enabler and the other one as a professional enabler. Let's start by telling you what AI actually does in the social sector now. AI, we all know, can be your digital personal assistant. It can make your home smart. It can give you all the answers. But would you believe if I tell you that AI is now making deaf and mute people communicate? Yes, you heard that right. It's now possible to translate sign language into voice and also voice translating into communication with the deaf and mute. So it's a two-way working stream. It also means that there are no interpreters involved. AI is making the deaf and mute communicate all by just wearing some gloves. So all of this is being done by this made in India Pune startup, Globatrix. So we of course had to bring them on the program. Let me now welcome Ashwarya Karnataki. Uh, on the program. But before we go to Ashwarya, let's give you a glimpse of how this actually works. How just wearing gloves can make you communicate, have a two-way conversation with the deaf and mute. Hello, doctor. My name is Parikshit. I am deaf. Hello, Mr. Parikshit. How may I help you today? Hmm. I have back pain. When did the pain start? Last week. How intense is it from 1 to 10? Six. Okay, I will give you medicine. Thank you, doctor. Welcome. Now, how absolutely phenomenal and cool is that? So, let's straight away dive into understanding what went behind making this and what's uh, the purpose they're really trying to solve. Let me welcome Ashwarya Karnataki, the co-founder at Glovatrix on the program. Good morning, Ashwarya, and welcome to the Breakfast Club. We just saw a glimpse of what these gloves really do. It is quite fascinating, quite cool, and we love how it's actually solving problems. But take us through, how did it all start? Uh, how did you guys come up with something like this? Uh, yeah, so first of all, I am super happy to be here uh, with you, Sonal. So, okay, talking about Glowatrix, I had this idea with me since 2008. Uh, my school had a separate section for children with disabilities. And I used to observe that while all of these kids were going through their own issues, there was a six-year-old mm. deaf child who had no friends to talk to. So I started learning mm. sign language to interact with him. And I asked him, will you be my friend? And that made him so, so happy. I still remember his reaction. It's etched in my memory. And since that day, I have always wanted to help deaf people communicate. It so happened that I did my electronics engineering and my final year project was a gesture controlled robotic cars. So using those gestures and sensors, I've always wanted to make a device which would translate sign language. Brilliant. And then I met my yeah. co-founder Parikshit at a party. And uh, he told me he wants to be an entrepreneur. And I said, you know what? I need someone with exactly your skill set. The very next day, we met at Starbucks, very cliched with a small notepad. And we chalked out some of the basics. And four years later, here we are. That's quite a meet cute over there between you and your founder. But what phenomenal work both of you have done. But tell us a little bit, is this... Uh, Patented now in India, does tech like this exist across the globe? And importantly, how much does it cost? Uh, yes, it is patented here in India. Um, 
there is no product in available in the indian markets as of now outside of india there are some companies which make similar products but they are quite uh, expensive as compared to ours in our case we want to keep hmm. affordability as one of the main focus of glowatrix right and what about scale here then how will you ensure that uh, and where are you taking this to market next so we are on the eighth iteration of our prototype and now we are ready hmm. to do pilots with organizations so sign language translation has many applications in itself so the application that we want to focus on here is uh, increasing the employability rate of the deaf and the speech impaired people so we want to pilot mm -hmm. with organizations which hire deaf and speech impaired people as their uh, employees and this will serve mm -hmm. as a workplace communication tool for the deaf and the speech impaired employees right so at what length can it go on like how many words can it pick up at one go uh so right now we have programmed it with around 50 to 100 gestures but going forward we plan on making a vocabulary of around 500 gestures which will be comprehensive enough for a deaf person to hold a conversation at workplace nice ashwarya this is quite uh, path breaking uh, and i believe you recently got funding as well to sort of scale it up further uh thank you so much for joining us and sharing your story with us and good luck with what you and parikshit are actually doing thank you so much ma'am it was a pleasure being here